Okay, oh my gosh, we're live again. We're live again. Hey everyone, hey, we got disconnected. We got disconnected. <laughs> what a terrible live stream. Terrible live stream. I hit a button on my, I hit something on my keyboard and it, it made me leave. And it just immediately the live stream. So I'm back. It's part two of Don't Mess with Gila Bend, all right? Don't mess with this lovely little desert town in Maricopa County. All right? It's a great little town here in the desert, and that's just the way it is. So, all right, and uh, I call Arthur. I'm going to call Arthur in about 10 minutes. We're going to do a live stream. Or I'm going to call him. We'll see how things go. So getting back to what I was saying, let me play some, I want to just play all, I want to just start from the beginning and play all of my palm tree, not too shabbies. Here they are. It's three palm trees, not too shabby. Yeah, there you go. All right, here's another. It's a bunch of palm trees. Not too shabby. All right, that's two. I got many more. Here's more. It's three palm trees in Brian's backyard. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, we got more. It's two beautiful palm trees. Not too shabby. <laughs> Wait, I got more. I got more. Oh, here's a here's one. It's palm trees in front of the McDonald's. Not too shabby. <laughs> That's in Yuma. That's at the McDonald's in Yuma. I made that not too shabby there. All right, this is bunch of here. I got more. I got more. It's a bunch of palm trees. Not too shabby. I think that was in Huntington Beach, California. Ooh, ooh, here's a good one. It's palm trees with rope lights around them. Not too shabby. Ha 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 ha. That was in Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, here's the one in Kila Bend. It's a bunch of palm trees on an open lot. Not too shabby. I, I really love palm trees. Ooh, here's one. It's a bunch of palm trees surrounding a gas station. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. Palm trees at a motel. It's a bunch of palm trees in front of my motel. Not too shabby. Oh, that was at the Motel 6 in Marana, I think. Motel 6 in Marana, I think. Ooh, here's one. It's a palm tree in front of a Circle K. Not too shabby. We got, I think we got more. I think, we, oh, we got more. These are palm trees in El Paso, Texas. Not too shabby. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got more. Wait, do I have any more? Palm trees in a supermarket lot. These are palm trees in a supermarket parking lot. Not too shabby. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? Man. Just hanging out in Gila Bend. All right. Just hanging out in Gila Bend. Have you ever been here? Who's been here? You know? I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. Did I just mess things up again? I'm just worried about hitting the wrong button. I hit something on my keyboard, and then it, it blew up the part one of Don't Mess With Gila Bend. So now it's... Don't mess with Gila Bend Part Two. 
So you can talk about uh, Saguaro National Park. That's my, actually that's more a Tucson topic. When you're in Tucson, that's when you talk about Saguaro National Park. This is the one, Sonoran Desert National Monument. This is a cool place, man. I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun going there. Hey, there's six people watching. If you're just tuning in, I'm here in Gila Bend, Arizona. And look, there's a train. See the train? There's a train that often goes through Gila Bend, Arizona. It's known for its trains and then the palm tree. Gila Bend, Arizona. Hey, MK. MK. This is a cup of decaf coffee. It's a cup of decaf coffee. And I just bought this mug. It's a Mexican style mug. In fact, it says on the bottom here, made in Mexico. See, if you can see that. Yeah, lead free Mexico. And everything's cheaper. The Mexican pottery and like all that, like Mexican decor, Southwestern decorations. They're cheaper because we're close to Mexico. I'm telling you, this would, yeah, there's just so many things. I was in this store in Gila Bend. And I, I just couldn't believe how much cheaper things were compared to Colorado. Like, okay. So I found, here, let me show you this. I have a ceramic frog in... This one, blue ceramic frog right there, okay? I think I spent $45 for this in Colorado. And they had this the same size. I think it was the same everything. And it was $25 down here, which is a huge savings. I think this was $45. Maybe it was like $40. It was just way I, it was. I know it was more. It's a dark blue ceramic frog. Not too shabby. <laughs> yeah, Southpaw. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, MK. I'm in Gila Bend. The theme is don't mess with Gila Bend. They say don't mess with Texas, but don't mess with Gila Bend, Arizona. We're just this dinky little desert town in southwest Arizona. You know what I mean? I And we get it. We don't get a lot of respect in this town. Most people are just driving through on the interstate, on Interstate 8, or they're, they're people from Phoenix coming down. They're driving through. They're on their way to Mexico, or they're headed to San Diego, something like that. But Gila Bend, we're just this lovely little town with a whole bunch of Mexican restaurants and palm trees and, you know... You won't find any movie stars here. Just ordinary folk. You know, ordinary people. Yeah. Hey, Patrice. Patrice, what do you think about my mug? I bought this today for $12. I bought this for $12. It's really, I think it's a nice mug. I was just in the mood. I was just in the mood to just go all, you know, overboard. Southpaw, I can absolutely play you the cactus in front of the McDonald's not too shabby. Yeah, Saguaro McDonald's not too shabby. Here. Here it is, Southpaw. It's Saguaro cactuses in front of a McDonald's. Not too shabby. So that was in Marana, which is a suburb of Tucson. I'll tell you something. If you're into McDonald's, I have another where, let's see here. How about palm trees in front of the McDonald's? It's palm trees in front of the McDonald's. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. Isn't that? Yeah. Wait, let me find. I'm just going to see what other McDonald's not too shabbies I have. I think I've got more. Uh, oh, I got McDonald's French fries here. It's McDonald's 
french fries on the ground. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Jeff, they've got a Tesla. Wait, did I see? So they got a Tesla charger station in Gila Bend. We got it all in Gila Bend. We do. Actually, we don't even have a supermarket. We don't have a Walmart. We don't have a supermarket. Uh, there's actually not a lot of things here. Maybe I'm wrong, but there is a Dollar General that way. And I got this view of a whole bunch of palm trees. Isn't that amazing? Look at those palm trees. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. I hope another train comes by. I want to show you the train. The trains go, go through a Gila Bend a lot. They do, man. Gila Bend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, hey, wait. I want to show you. Let's see here. This isn't, I guess, this isn't too exciting, but tomorrow I'm headed to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. And I encourage you, it's a really beautiful place. Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. It's really funny that they, they got a picture at the top of snow. That's pretty rare that it ever snows in uh, Oregon Pipe, but it's right on. If you look up Gila Bend, take the highway south. I think it's Highway 85. It's like 45 miles south. And it's, it's, it's this park right on the border with the, US, the USA and Mexico. And uh, it's a great place. And there is a young organ pipe cactus. And they never have good pictures in these little bird shorts, but... Anyway, let me just show you an organ pipe. Here, I'm going to show you an organ pipe cactus here. Let's see. Here, here. That's This is what an organ pipe cactus looks like. Just like that. Isn't that nice? It's pretty nice. Patrice, you've been to organ pipe? It is, Josh. Josh, it really is. Here, here's another picture of like the organ pipe arms. It's really nice. So, by the way, last night I was doing laundry in Tucson, and I got a. Here's a picture of the uh, the sunset. The sunset with palm trees. Isn't that pretty? I got to tell you something. I've got problems. We all have problems, but I'm living a good life right now. I mean, I'm a snowbird. You know, I'm really thankful to be a snowbird. You know, I'm sitting out here, hanging out, looking at these palm trees. Look at those beautiful palm trees. Like right now, right now in Gila Bend. Oh, it's down to 66. All right, it's 66 degrees. Sunny in 66. What is it in Westcliff, Colorado? I'll tell you, it was just snowing and it's 19 degrees. 66 or 19, what would you rather have, you know? So, <sighs> by the way, I'm just in a goofy mood. It's Saturday. I'm not working. This is my happy-go-lucky live stream. I did a live stream on Thursday, two days, two days ago, and we talked about the Trump mob you know, Trump inciting this uh, insurrection, this awful, disgraceful. Just know this. I don't know if I'm going to talk as much about it. I'll put a link. To, you know, go check it out in my past live streams. I spoke out. I speak out against Trumpism and his lying, his racism, his just everything about him that's awful and evil. And there is a lot. So I'm not a Trump supporter. And I hope you're not either. So that's, you know, I, I definitely drew the line with Trump. So he's a disgrace. So many evil things about him. And, and now even recently now, 
I mean, Trump in 2016 was promoting violence at his rally, as at his rallies. He was joking about it, and remember how he was sort of encouraging people, "Hey, I'll pay your your attorney's fees if you knock out somebody, some protester." So Trump loves violence. He's an evil man, and we all know. Anyway, it's just so awful with this capital um, violence. And uh, I'm really scared that, that, like, I'm really concerned there could be more that, you know, there could be some of his, you know, cult-like followers that will become so radicalized that it's going to be the new terrorism, sort of this Trump terrorism. And just know I speak out against it. And with the internet, with the community I'm creating here in YouTube, I stand against cruelty and racism and lying and undermining our democracy, all that stuff. So anyway, so I've just spoken my piece about that, okay? Hey, Josh, you've never seen an organ pipe cactus? Let me show you more. I'll show you more of my pictures here. Let me show you what an organ pipe cactus looks like, all right? Really, it's a really beautiful. Let's see, where, where are my organ pipes? I've taken so many pictures this winter. Here, it's kind of like, it's one plant, it's one cactus, and it has multiple arms. And they all like go up like these little flutes, these little, I guess they look like organ pipes, all right? So here's another organ pipe with a saguaro. So here's the thing about the, oh, here's another picture. That's pretty. That's really pretty. All right, so here's the thing about the organ pipe cactus. All right, they grow all like, like gangbusters in Mexico. A lot of Mexico is desert. Northern Mexico and the peninsula, that's my understanding. So they, these organ pipes are all over. And then there's a tiny part of southwest Arizona where... The organ pipes grow, you know, this little 10, 15, 20 mile area where it crosses the border and they grow. So in America, we have a national monument, a park where it's organ pipe cactus national monuments right on the border. So I'm headed there tomorrow. It's about from here. It's like 30, 35 miles south. All right. So, yeah, the organ pipe cactus. Look at it. Is that beautiful? Yeah, you know, the the saguaro cactus is the most majestic. It's the most adored cactus out here. All right, no question about it. But there's still like when you're down there, it's like not only do you have the saguaros, but then you've got these organ pipes. And that's a younger one. It only has like four, like five arms. One, two, three, four, maybe five. Five arms there, that one on the left. So it's called Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Josh, I'm telling you, you would love it. You got to come down here. Get your butt down here. What the hell are you doing in Pennsylvania anyway? Anyway, although thank you, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Pennsylvania. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Chrissy, you love the desert? I love the desert, too. I'm a Coloradan. I need open spaces. I need scenery. But I got to be honest with you. Like, in Arizona has open space, scenery. It's just more interesting to see... Like you're biking around and, or like these cactuses. Here's another organ pipe. There's just so many things to look at on the ground. All these interesting cactuses and other things. So here is a crested, wait, let me show you. Here's a crested arm of an organ pipe cactus. It's an odd mutation where it doesn't grow straight up like all the others. It kind of grows into the shamrock. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
Uh, Chrissy, have you been to Colorado much? Hey, Kamikaze. I'm here in Gila Bend. Gila Bend. Just chilling out. Drinking decaf coffee from a Mexican ceramic mug that was made in Mexico. See? See right there? Made in Mexico. Gila Bend. You know? All right, I'm going to call everyone. I'm going to call Arthur. Arthur said he would take my call. So for those of you who know Arthur, here, first of all, let me show you the not too shabbies of Arthur. Here, I'll just show you. Arthur, not too shabby. Here's Arthur playing the guitar. It's Arthur playing the guitar. Not too shabby. He's actually not a good guitar player. I shouldn't have done that, but ha <laughs> ha ha! This is his hot water kettle. It's a hot water kettle. Not too shabby. And then here's another one. The cowboy. People like the cowboy one. Cowboy, not too shabby. Here, so this is Arthur as well. It's a cowboy dude. Not too shabby. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call Arthur. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Arthur. <laughs> Let's get Arthur on the phone. I wonder if he's ever been to Gila Bend, Arizona. <laughs> To all nine people watching. Hey, Arthur. Hey, buddy. Wait, which shabby is shabbiest of all the shabbies? You playing the guitar? You should just delete that one and be done with it. Yeah, the guitar shabby. You just don't even look like you're trying to be good. It's all right, though. Really? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, Arthur, what's going on, man? Hey, I did a temper. Huh? Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I just got off a call with my family where we were making uh, pralines together. You're making pralines with your family by phone? Uh, Zoom. That sounds interesting. They were all cooking. I was just watching. I don't trust myself enough to try that. Oh. Hey Arthur, I did a I did a weather check just now. It's 66 and sunny in Gila Bend, Arizona, where I'm at, and it's only 19, yeah. and it was just snowing in Westcliff. It is still snowing. It's still snowing in Westcliff, and it's only 19 degrees. Yep. Are you? Uh, are you doing okay? Are you kind of depressed? <laughs> no, I'm doing fine. Really? Yeah. Why do you ask? It's so cold and you can't really go outside and exercise and there's no cactuses or anything and I don't know. The, fewer, the less cactus, the better. All right. <laughs> the less cactus, the better. There are cactuses in Colorado, by the way, but they're kind of actually they're right outside our house. I also yeah, I should do a little video when I get back. So then, yeah, but the little uh, like pear cactus. Yeah, they're called yeah. It's it's called the plains prickly pear cactus. They cl they stay close to the ground. They're kind of like prickly pears. Yeah, they're not they're not too shabby. They're they're not, you know. Hey, uh, Arthur, here. Like I don't know. There's there might be about a forty five second delay, but I want you to see my. Uh, my the palm trees I'm looking at. I don't, are you looking at them. are you looking at them right now? Yeah. Look at those palm trees. Like you're in Florida or something. I know, but it's like it's like the dead of the desert. There's no water anywhere. There's no water here at all. So why do people live there? Why do people live in Arizona? In places where there's no water. Well, there is enough water to like get the shower 
my shower running, you know, like there is water from somewhere. I don't even know where it comes from. I will say this to everyone watching. I do try to take shorter showers. You know, I'm just aware of like showers and like, don't flush your toilet unnecessarily. Seriously in the desert. It's like, my gosh, so little, there's just no water, you know? So anyway, Hey, hey uh, Arthur, have you been to Gila Bend, Arizona? I've never been to Arizona. You've never been to Arizona in your whole life? Nope. Oh, man. No real desire, really. Yeah? Hey, hold on a second. I'm more of like a lush, forested mountain person. You're a lush, forest mountain person. You should come down here. You'd like Arizona. So. It seems hot and dry. Hey, all right, hold on. Hey, Jasper. Hey, Charles. Hey, Badimo. For those of you just checking in, there's 10 people watching. The theme is don't mess with Gila Bend. I mean, Gila Bend, Arizona, just this little desert town on the interstate in southwest Arizona. And I'm hanging out, and I'm looking at these palm trees, and it's 66 degrees. I'm wearing shorts. Look at that, people. I'm wearing shorts. It's January. It's January. What is it, January 9th? I'm wearing shorts. I've only worn, there's only been one day where I, I wore jeans the whole day, where I didn't wear shorts. One time. I think it was, uh, actually, I think it was New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. That was the only time. I'm wearing shorts every day. So, and I'm talking to Arthur. Arthur, the famed Arthur, who, yeah. Everyone, I'm on the phone with Arthur, who is the cowboy dude. Here, I'll play the not too shabby right now. Here it is. The cowboy dude. <laughs> not too shabby. Arthur, that's a nice cowboy hat. Thank you. I'm a fan. Uh, are you wearing it a lot? Uh, not so much that one. Uh, in the winter, you wear felt hats to the warmer, where the straw hats are better for the heat. Really? The straw hats? Okay, okay. Hey, uh, you know, because seriously, I need to buy, I need, to, you've inspired me to buy a real cowboy, or a hat with a rim, a really cool rim. I need it. So I definitely would it's need great. one. It's, Go ahead. It's sweet and it's great when you work the outside. It just keeps the sun off you. Don't yeah. Have a whole lot of, like, cloud cover or any kind of shade. Yeah, no, well, that, I mean, that's the, that's the spirit of cowboy hats. Because, like, you're always out there and, you know, right? Isn't that why cowboys wear cowboy hats? Yep. Yeah, all right, all right. I got to get, I got to get a good hat. I got this, like, cheap straw hat. I actually bought it at the West Cliff supermarket. So. <laughs> no, so I got to go to one of those, like, where did you get yours? Where Murdoch, Mur Murdoch, and Salida, Colorado. Okay, I gotta find one of those. I don't know what you call them. They're like farming, ranch stores, like whatever you call them. Like tractor supply. Tractors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. Right. 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 One of those kind of places. I need. I need a good hat with the rim. So. There's also a big R in Pueblo and Canyon. That's right, a big R in Trinidad, Colorado, too. So. Hey, the budget says big R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Arthur, what's on, Arthur? What's on your mind today? How's do you? I mean, there's ten people watching. You're. Do you want to talk about your dating life? How's that going? Uh, it's pretty quiet at the moment. Really. Even that there's like hundred people live in this county. I don't know that. I, I don't see you dating somebody in Custer County, Colorado. I mean, you need someone that has intellect. That really... Custer County is learned people. <laughs> anyway, I, I mean, where would you need someone in Custer County? I mean, probably not in the county, but like Belida would be cool. Salida's so Chafee County. Right. <laughs> anyway, I'm just... all I have here are like old people and Amish. That's right. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Patrice, want you want to talk about my dating life? I, there's nothing to say. <laughs> there was I, I did go on a date. It wasn't much of a date. That was November. That didn't work out. So Ooh, was that the girl? yeah, it was that girl? Yeah. <laughs> there's all right. I'll tell you. <laughs> It just, it didn't, it was all right. There's just not much. It, it, it didn't, it was disappointing. So I'm not sure she really took, I just, there, I mean, look, there's compatibility issues. And then I'm not sure she was really taking the COVID pandemic as seriously as I would like to. And that was the barrier. Huh? What did you go do for your date? Oh, we did. It, we we met for coffee. It wasn't really much. It wasn't much, but. Oh yeah, that doesn't give you much to talk about. You gotta go like adventure somewhere. Well, not on a first gathering. No, no, not on a first gathering. No. But you don't want to be stuck together for hours. Yeah, I don't want to be stuck for together for hours. You're right. So. Why not? Arthur, you're being difficult. That's all right. You're. It's cool. Is it dark? Hey, is it dark in Westcliff? Yep. Oh my gosh! It's still bright here. It's still bright here. Here, look, look, look at the palm trees. Actually, wait, wait. I'll show you the sunset. Actually, all right. The sun. Whoa, that is bright. I don't even know if you can see anything there, but I'm looking at the sun. It is cresting or getting to the. It's you know getting to the. Is that the word cresting or it's reaching its uh, lowest point? So there's the sunset. Beautiful Arizona, everyone. Gila Bend. Huh? Are you in mountain time? I'm still, well, okay. Arizona doesn't do the, the, uh, the, uh, the time change. So essentially if they're in mountain time zone in the winter. And then when we switch for the summer, they, 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 they're Pacific. But they, they don't change. So it's really lovely. It's, it's so nice. You know? So. By the way, I, I did... Um, on Thursday, I did a thorough discussion about Trump and the Capitol riots and his love of violence, how vile and evil he is, how he needs to resign. He's a disgrace. He needs to be impeached. He needs to be convicted. He will be impeached, but the Senate will probably do nothing because they are cowards, and cowards don't do what's right uh, when necessary, and especially in the face of evil. So anyway, I went on a huge thing, and today I only went for like five, ten minutes, but we're going to keep things light today because it's Saturday. So, anyway. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Bademo. Hey, Charles. <laughs> I will say one thing. The girl, <laughs> the girl I went on a date with, she had a Porsche, a Porsche convertible. So, Did she, let her drive? she made it clear she would have let me drive it. But I, I, I just, there just, she just wasn't, it just, we didn't even click at all. I didn't want to drive her car. I'm not going to drive her car if I'm not clicking with her at all. All right. Huh? You said I was being difficult. Yeah, maybe. I still wish. It just didn't work out, man. I'll be honest, the, the, the pandemic was a factor too. The pandemic was a factor. So, anyway. So. <laughs> I'm just looking at all the chat sec, all the chat areas, all the things people are saying. So. Well, Arthur, it's nice to talk to you. I, I know uh, this isn't the most exciting conversation, but what are you doing tonight? Did you got anything plans tonight? I'm probably going to play some video games and go to sleep at some point, hopefully. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Arthur, 
the infamous guy of like with the cowboy, the cowboy not too shabby. Tonight he's going to be playing video games and he's going to bed early because it's snowing in Westcliff, Colorado. So, yeah, the wildlife I lead. wait, what was that? It is a wildlife I lead. It's a wildlife, you and Dwight. You and Dwight. So, <laughs> all right. Seriously, thanks for taking my call. Sorry, I'm a little, I don't know. I'm trying to entertain my uh, live streamers. I'm trying. I'm just trying. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Charles, Arthur, really, thank you for taking my call. Thank you for watching my live stream. Have, have fun with your video games, and, and, th and you're a good friend, too. You're a good friend. Seriously, I appreciate you. Like I, like I told you a few nights ago, if I could take my home, my town home in Westcliff and transport it where for six months, it's like I live in my town home in Arizona and I still got my neighbors, I would do that. You know what I mean? And then I'd bring it back up to Colorado. So, but I can't do that. So. You can always buy two. I could, I know. <laughs> anyway, all right. Arthur. Take care of yourself, buddy. All right. Take these. All right. Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. So that was Arthur. That was Arthur. All right. So, hey, Bad Limo, Charles. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? I'm here. In, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm in a little desert town called Gila Bend. I just bought this Mexican pottery mug. And I'm drinking. I just still got some coffee in here. It's decaf, though, and it's probably cold. The coffee's cold now. And do you have any questions for me? Or you're, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about now. I'm not sure what to talk about. <laughs> Patrice, how are you? Dance boy, how are you? Yeah, yeah, look, the sun. Oh my gosh, the sun is getting pretty. The sun's getting close to setting there. There it is. See it is? See? I don't even know that you can really see it. There it is. See, there's the sun. It is setting. Look at all those palm trees. Holy crap, look at all those palm trees. This is Gila Bend, Arizona. Don't mess with this town. It's a nice town. Got beautiful palm trees just like that. Just beautiful. So beautiful. I'm telling you, man. Dance Boy, I, I should do a palm tree of the day. That would be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? But I'm right now I'm doing my saguaro of the day. So... Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of shampoo do I use? Arthur Elledge. Right now, I got this like high end bottle of shampoo. I don't feel like. Here, all right, I'll get my shampoo. Let me get my shampoo. Let me see here. Here's the bathroom. Where's light? We're in the bathroom, everyone. Here's my toothpaste. Pressed. Shampoo. Where's my shampoo? Hold on. My shampoo is this Argan Luxurious Shampoo. So right there. Argan Luxurious Shampoo. It's kind of, it's like a, it doesn't damage you too much or whatever. It's kind of, it's good for your hair follicles or something like that. So there you go. Okay, one more uh, sponsor. What this, this video, this live stream has been brought to you by the palm trees here in Gila Bend. Isn't that beautiful? It's very beautiful. So there you go. All right. 
Badamo. I'm sorry I'm pronouncing your name wrong. It just looks like Badlamo. Badamo. So, yeah, I do. Con I actually do more conditioning. I only wash my hair like maybe once a week. You know, I only really work it in. I don't really wash my hair that much. I use, con I use good conditioner. So I'm just trying to hang in there. I'm 49 years old. My hair is, you know, it used to be longer. And I'm just trying to keep what I got and not lose hair and all that. You know, let's talk about hair. We're talking about hair in Gila Bend, Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Arthur, there's a place called Mohawk, Mohawk Pass, like 35 miles from here on the interstate. Is that what you're talking about? Chrissy, what's LHC? What's LHC? Patrice, you're going to Hawaii? That sounds amazing. Charles, you are right. Sometimes just like having nothing to talk about and like looking at the palm trees. I could do a whole live stream where I just, I walk away and I just, I just make, I just have it face the palm trees. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? I could, I, I might do that. And then I'll do, I'll just call it look at the palm trees and then in the title heading, and then I'll just have the live stream go for 15, 20, 30 minutes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Chrissy, the long hair community. Is that how I was part of that? It used to be called Long Hair Lovers. There was a website called Long Hair Lovers, and I was part of that. They had forums and you know, there's all this discussion about long hair and all that. Long hair lovers. Yeah. Chrissy, that's where, really? That's where you first met me? Oh, my gosh, Chrissy. Yeah, it was long hair lovers, and then that website kind of went, it stopped or something. And then long hair community. Is long is that longhaircommunity.com? Is that still running? Yeah, that's so cool. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. If you're just checking in, there's 11 people watching. I'm here in Gila Bend. I'm just visiting. I'm just chilling out, looking at these palm trees, just just hanging. Just talking about whatever. I've been talking about Arizona and the cactus and, you know, Sonoran Desert National Monument. And tomorrow I'm going to go to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument right there. You know, and uh, I make not too shabby. Here, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Here's my uh, not too shabbies. Let me just show you some more not too shabbies. I have so many random not too shabbies. It's just unbelievable. Here. It's a Denver Broncos crockpot. Not too shabby. Denver Broncos crockpot. And here's Garcia Motors. Garcia Motors. Here we go. It's Garcia Motors. Not too shabby. <laughs> what draws me to the warm states, dance boy? You know, I mean, the short story is, yeah, I'm just here for the weather. I'm here to, like, I'm just here for the weather. I'm here for the desert. I'm actually here for the desert and the saguaros, the saguaro cactus. That's what brings me down here. I'm a snowbird. I did a whole live stream discussion about how I'm a snowbird. And um, I come down for these, the saguaro cactus. So beautiful. Plus, it's warmer, and I can hike and exercise 
and have fun. Here's a beautiful teddy bear choya in the desert. This is why I come down here. Because of all these uh, Arizona. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let me find some more. Oh, here's a butterscotch ice cream. I got this at the Dairy Queen. Butterscotch ice cream. It's very nice. So. <laughs> Look how beautiful that scene is. I was up on this small mountain. And there was teddy bear choyas and saguaros and the mountains in the distance. So beautiful. Yeah, Chrissy, they're called jumping choyas. Jumping choyas. And it gets that name because they don't really jump, but the endings break off really easily. And then it feels like they jump off and they can track onto you and grab onto your shoes or your, your pants or your skin. So they can be really dangerous. Hey, here's a, a, a sunset in the desert. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, another train, another train. Here's the train. Isn't that amazing? Another train coming through Gila Bend. How about that, everyone? A train going through Gila Bend. Right there. So pretty. Oh, let's just watch the train. It's kind of meditative. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Here. Here's the train. Here's the sunset. The sun is starting to set. See the sun? It's kind of setting. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Holy cow, that is pretty. And then there's the, the train still going there. So, so pretty. <laughs> there's a cactus Pokemon. Cactus Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, Mad Films is snowing in Denver. Yeah, it's snowing in Westcliff too. My town of Westcliff. It's 19 degrees and snowing in Westcliff. And down here in Gila Bend, it's, you know, it's getting to be close to evening. It's now 64. 64 or 19. So, yeah. You know, let me just say one thing. I I try not to quote hate people. You know, like I, I don't I don't know that I hate the person of Donald Trump, but but I hate I hate evil. I hate I hate evil. I hate bullying, I hate lying, I hate narcissistic abuse, I hate people that act like dictators. I hate people who uh, like, like I hate the act of destroying democracy. I hate bullying. I hate, I really hate racism. I have no tolerance for racism at all. So, you know, it, it might seem like I hate Donald Trump, but I, I don't, I would, I would really, you know, that's a good question, but I do hate what he stands for, and I hate how he harms people. And I will always speak out against that. And if, if anyone has a problem with that, you really do need to leave my live stream. Go away. I don't want you associating with me, watching my videos. Just unsubscribe and go away. So, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, look, that's, just, that's all I got to say. But I try not to, you know... Oh, and of course, I mean, of course, Trump is. Anyway, let's just change the subject. Let's just, but, but I don't, I don't know that I hate people. Like fundamentally, 
I'm not supposed to hate people, but I will hate what they stand for, especially if it's evil, if it's harming people, you know, if they're bullying people, that kind of thing. If they're lying and their lying leads to harm and destruction of, of good, good things in our, in our lives or in the world. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm not talking about politics. I'm talking about morality here. I'm talking about morality. I'm talking about what's right and wrong. So it's not politics to, to talk about uh, telling the truth or be, calling for decency or making a stand against racism. That's not that's not politics. So but yeah, yeah, but we will move on. All right. We will move on. So, hey, this is great. we got 10 people watching. Gila Bend, Arizona. I'm going to put, like, this little, in the thumbnail, I'm going to put don't mess with Gila Bend, Arizona. And I'm going to, like, I wonder if the locals are going to, the locals in this town who live here, if they're going to find it. You know what I mean? And, um, like, here, here, right now, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> I already made, like, Part of the thumbnail, and then I'm going to put words in there. Don't mess with Gila Bend. <clears throat> it's kind of dumb, but I'm just trying. Gila Bend. So there's the Gila River. South Paul, you bring up a good topic. The Gila River comes through this area. The Gila Bend, Gila River starts in western New Mexico at near the Continental Divide. And it generally flows east. It flows, no, no, it flows west. Okay, so it starts in western New Mexico. It flows west. It goes through a canyon, Salt Canyon, I think. And eventually it kind of spills out near Phoenix. And then it comes like, I'm southwest of Phoenix, 40, 50 miles or so. And the Gila River makes a major bend where it goes like this. And anyway, so that's why they call it Gila Bend. And then this river eventually flows to the Colorado River a little bit north of Yuma, Arizona. And there's, there's, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no water in the riverbed. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gila Monster, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, here's a not too shabby. A few days ago, I found, I saw this bumper sticker. I saw a bumper sticker that said Cactus Hugger. It was so cool. I want, I want, I want one for my car. It's a Cactus Hugger bumper sticker. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. Real pretty. Real, real pretty. Ooh, how about this purple cactus? This was, a, this was about a week ago. It's a purple cactus. Not too shabby. Yeah, if you were a nudist, you'd hate those cactuses, yeah? My last hey, here's my la my not my last not too shabby for 2020. It's the final day of 2020. Not too shabby. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I have I have a picture of me hugging here. I've got here, Steve. Let's see if I can find a picture. I've got a picture of me hug cactus. I've got a picture of me hugging a cactus. All right, first of all, I kissed the cact. I kissed this barrel cactus. All right, there's a barrel cactus. All right, I kissed it. This was 2007. I was a younger man. 2007. I was uh, 35. Okay, it's kissing a barrel cactus. And then I hugged it. And it grabbed onto my shirt. And I was hugging it, and it was, like, hurting me. <laughs> so that, that's me hugging a barrel cactus. Oh my gosh, it really hurt. Don't do that at home, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. It really hurt. 
yeah, those thorns are like ripping into your skin and your shirt. I kind of ripped up my shirt a little bit. So it's really awful. Really kind of terrible and awful. Hugging a cactus. So yes, I have hugged a cactus. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The truth is, I always wanted to be a comedian. I wanted to be a stand-up comedian. I think a lot of people want to be a stand-up comedian. I never had the courage to do stand-up. And then the short of it is, once the internet came around, I had a website. I still got a website, coloradoguy.com. I was doing, trying to be funny, doing funny, goofy stuff, and um, making content. And then, like, YouTube. Now it's all YouTube. I'm sort of trying to be funny with not too shabby or whatever, you know. All right, the sun is kind of set. The sun is pretty much set, and there are the palm trees. There are the palm trees. Yeah. Mad Films. Wait, hold on. Um, Bad Emo, have I seen lizards? I see a few lizards here and there in the desert, not too many. But I've seen a few, and they just run away really fast. You know, you just see them kind of like, you know, they just, they run really fast, and they're gone. You know, so I've seen some lizards in the desert. You definitely see rabbits, rabbits freaking out, and they run away, you know. So I haven't seen a snake. I haven't seen a snake. I'm always on the lookout for snakes. And so... Hey, Noah. Hey, Noah. Hey, buddy. Mad Films, my favorite food is probably Mexican. Yeah. In uh, Gila Bend, Arizona, they've got Humberto's. Here, I'm going to just... This is my favorite Mexican restaurant uh, in Gila Bend, Arizona. It's called Humberto's. Right there. See? All right, let me play it. It's Humberto's Mexican restaurant. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. It's really great. It's really, really great. Yeah, yeah. Noah, how are you? How are you, buddy? Yeah, I'm just hanging out in Gila Bend, this little desert town in southwest Arizona. Just chilling out. I was drinking coffee out of my Mexican ceramic mug. And I'm headed to headed to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument tomorrow. It's this national park on the border between US A and, and Mexico. And just sitting here. I'm looking at the palm trees. Lots of palm trees out here. Lots of cactus and desert. Yeah, yeah. Noah, am I, I got to come. Noah, I need to come to Michigan. I need to get to Georgia. Uh, Georgia now is the top priority. Because with Georgia, I'm sorry. Like <laughs> With John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock winning, that settles it. I got to go to Georgia, spend lots of money in those Atlanta suburbs and Fulton County and to Cab County and and just celebrate, celebrate and, and reward the people of Georgia. Hey, TYT. It pretty much is. It's 63 degrees in Gila Bend. It is summer. Like it's by the way, it was up to 70. Right now, okay, wait, let's do Celsius. Right now in Gila Bend, it's 17. But it was up to 19. It was 19 Celsius in Gila Bend. Now it's finally getting teen. Yeah, okay. I'm wearing shorts. Okay, it's 17 degrees Celsius. Our high was 19. And in the town I live in, Westcliff, Colorado, it's negative 7 and it's snowing. Westcliff, Colorado. So that's, that's the thing. I'm a snowbird. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go back to Fahrenheit. That means it's 63 63 in Gila Bend, and it's 19 in Westcliff. So, TYTD, you're in your thermals. It's 
minus three Celsius? Dude, that sounds cold. Noah, it's 23 degrees in Michigan? Oh, my gosh. Badima, where are you located? What's your location? And, yes, I was lagging. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not staying here long, but I'm in Gila Bend. I'm making the most of this wonderful little town, Gila Bend. It's a nice town. It's, it's all right here. I might wrap it up, man. I might wrap it up. It is, it is, it's a little breezy today in the desert. Hey, TYTD, I mean, everybody, go watch my videos. I made two not too shabbies, okay? And then I also made, um, I made a video, like a Saguaro of the Day video today. And I really show the desert scenery. Let me just show you a little bit of it, okay? Here, let me just show you the scenery. Here, here we go. The war of the day. It's the most common saguaro when people draw it or they think of it. They think of the the main trunk going up. It's all right. It's all right. It's not too. It's. And then an arm on the left. I turn camera and it gets pretty. All right. <laughs> all right. First of all, I just hiked up that mountain. It's called Lost Horse Peak. I'll share a link uh, to that, my summit video, uh, in the description area. Is that pretty? Here's a beautiful Bocatillo. Very pretty. It's so pretty, it's man. I just, great. I'm so happy here in the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, am I still? I'm still going, right? I still think I'm going. It doesn't look like it's lagging too bad, but I may wrap it up here. Hey, everybody! Thank you for watching. All my love, all my love from Gila Bend, Arizona. All right. I hope you can. Uh, I hope you're. Uh, you can. There are the palm trees, the beautiful palm trees. Yeah, Chrissy, take care of yourself. Noah, th take care of yourself. Sorry I'm leaving so soon, but it's just time. I've been going for an hour. Yeah, yeah. Southpaw, take care. TYTD. But Demo. Yeah, yeah. Noah. I'm sorry I got to go. All right. But seriously, so long from the beautiful desert of Southwest Arizona. Make it a great day in the desert. All right? So long. Till next time.